Hello, this is Hank's Maker Mentor. The release notes for Cricut version 8.15 came out this week. It consists of the new feature Create Sticker, as well as one fixed field issue, which I'm gonna show you now, and we'll briefly cover Create Sticker. First, what is Create Sticker? It is a feature to simplify making stickers that requires a current Cricut Access subscription to make it. It takes away the need to use offset, flatten, or attach. Cricut released a how-to article as well as a news article, both of which are full of information. All of these are linked in the description of this video. When using Create Sticker, you can use your own content or Cricut content, and it can include text, images, shapes, and even warp or monogram maker. I'm gonna use this image I uploaded. The views of design space that you'll see will not be a smooth flow of the entire project because this feature is still buggy and stopped working on me multiple times. I had to go back and simplify the project to show other portions of it. You'll select the design on your canvas and then up here at the top, you've got create sticker. It does show that it is an access feature. It is currently in beta. Because I don't have a current access subscription, I can either start a free trial or if you don't have a free trial, you can pay for Cricut Access, or you can just check it out. It gives you the option to make die cut or kiss cut stickers. Die cut means the sticker and the liner are cut to create individual stickers. Kiss cut only cuts the sticker material, leaving the liner intact, which is what you would use if you were doing sheets of stickers. You've got choices on the border. You can do no border, thin, standard, wide, or custom. You can change the border color. The default options it gives you are black and white, but you can add a color using this or type in a hex code. Other setting options include the die cut edge, which creates a second offset that cuts all the way through the material to make it easier to remove the sticker from the liner. You can choose to have it cut the interior shapes, which is the small things like the insides of letters and such. You can also go back and change settings instead of starting over. When you select a sticker on your canvas, the option at the top will change to edit sticker. Let's cover a few of what I consider are the most important questions. There are more of the frequently asked questions in the articles I mentioned. What devices can you use the create sticker function with? If you have Cricut Design Space updated on your phone, tablet, or computer, you can try it out. It's included with desktop, iOS, and Android. Which Cricut machines can you use? Since this is for print and cut and not just cutting vinyl, you'll need a machine that has the print and cut feature. So any of the Explore or Maker models, the Cricut Venture, or the Joy Extra. Since the Cricut Joy can't do print and cut, Create Sticker will not work if you only have a Cricut Joy. You'll need a printer that can connect to your device. The Cricut materials are all designed for inkjet printers, not laser printers. Cricut doesn't guarantee that you'll get good results if you don't use their materials, but that doesn't mean you have to do that. Why can't you duplicate your sticker on the canvas after applying Create Sticker? Currently, they have it set that if you wanna make more copies of the same sticker, you'll need to do that on the Make It screen. Or, since you do not have to create one sticker at a time, before you create your first sticker, duplicate it for as many times as you need. You can select multiple designs on your canvas, and then when you do create sticker, it'll apply the same settings to each design. From what I personally have seen using it at the end of January 2024, it's still really buggy, so I'm not a huge fan of it at this time. I'm not sure if it's because I don't have Cricut access, if I used my own uploaded file, or if they just still have a lot of bugs to work out. If you've tried it, let me know what you thought. If you don't have Cricut access, is this going to change your mind? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching Hank's Maker Mentor, and until next time, bye.